welcome here to the Upper House today. On this very special occasion, as James and Alice celebrate their wedding. My name is Karen Phillips, and I have the pleasure of conducting the ceremony for them today. And my colleague and fellow registrar is Jill Davis. Jill will be completing the marriage register during the ceremony and then presenting the happy couple with that all important document, the marriage certificate, at the end. May I ask who gives this bride's hand in marriage? I do. Thank you. Would you like to hand on Alice's left hand over to James? Um. And could I ask everyone except the bride and groom to please be seated? James and Alice are here today to be married. We are all here to witness that marriage, share in their happiness, and make this a memorable day for them both. This place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to the laws of this country for the celebration of marriage. Therefore, I need to ask if any person here knows of any legal reason why James Morrison and Alice Bethel Watson may not be joined in marriage, you should declare it now. <laughs> James and Alice, before you pledge yourselves in marriage, it is my duty to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows that you two are about to make to each other. Marriage, according to the laws of this country, is the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all of us. So I'm now going to ask you both to declare that you're free lawfully to marry. So James, if you'd like to go first, if you could repeat these words of the declaration after me, please. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. That I know. Of any lawful impediment. <laughs> <laughs> Why I, James Morrison. Why I, James Morrison. May not be joined in matrimony. Why I, not to be joined in matrimony. <laughs> to Alice Bethel. To Alice Bethel Watson. What? She just talk. <laughs> That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Alice Bethan Watson. Why I, Alice Bethan Watson. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To James Morrison. To James Morrison. <laughs> the purpose of marriage is to enable you two to make a formal commitment to each other. To care for and to support each other through everything that life brings to you and never to allow anything to destroy the feelings that you two have for each other. It is to accept each other's strengths and weaknesses and to continue to grow and learn together and it's a promise from each of you to always treat one another with respect and affection and to never forget that your marriage is a continuing celebration of the love that you two have for each other today. Marriage must be entered into freely, voluntarily and with the full and unreserved consent of you both. So therefore, do you, James, take Alice to be your lawful wedded wife? Yes. <laughs> 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 to witness that I, James Morrison, to witness that I, James Morrison, do take the Alice Beth and Watson, that I do take the Alice Beth and Watson, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife. I will honour, I will honour, cherish, cherish, 
comfort and support you. Comfort and support you. With patience, <laughs> patience. Understanding, understanding and humour. More than this. <laughs> <laughs> I love you with all my heart forever. All my heart forever. All my heart forever. So then I'll be More than this. More than this. I will love you with all my heart forever. I will love you with all my heart forever. Okay. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Alice Beckham Watson, to witness that I, Alice Beckham Watson, do take thee, James Morrison, do take thee, James Morrison, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband. I will honour, I will honour, cherish, cherish, comfort and support you, comfort and support you, with patience, with patience, understanding, understanding, <laughs> <laughs> and humour, and humour, more than this, more than this. I will love you with all my heart forever. I will love you with all my heart forever. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> we have now come to the exchange of rings. This is the traditional and ancient way of sealing the contract that you two have just made to each other. The wedding ring has an important significance in a relationship because it is a circle perfect in form with neither beginning nor end. And it's now the sign of the lifelong promises that you two have just made to each other. So, Paul, I'm ask you to come to me. I'm going to ask you to be Jed and Alice's ring. I'm a bit spiting, sorry. I'm placing that the third finger of Alice's left hand and holding that in place, James. You can these words after me, please. All that I have, I give to you. All that I have, I give to you. All that I am, I share with you. All that I am, I share with you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. Wear it as an outward sign. Wear it as an outward sign. Of all we share. Of all we share. And the commitment we are making to each other. The commitment we are making to each other. <laughs> And the same applies, Alice, if you'd like to press that on the third finger of James's left hand. Thank you. All that I have, I give to you. All I have, I give to you. All that I am, I share with you. All that I am, I share with you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. Wear it as an outward sign. Wear it as an outward sign. Of all we share. Of all we share. And the commitment we are making to each other. And the commitment that we are making to each other. James and Alice, you have both made declarations required by law. You have made your own solemn promises to each other in the presence of all your witnesses, your family and your friends. May you always love, honour and cherish one another. May no failure nor misfortune ever part you. And may you live rich and full lives together. It is now my bit honour and a privilege to pronounce that you are husband and wife. And James, you can kiss your beautiful friends. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.